So my son and daughter have found some prints in the field and uh, we're going to go and take a look at them and try and do some plaster of Paris. Actually it's called perfect plaster and we're going to make molds of deer prints, doe and buck and I think raccoon, hopefully turkey. I think we saw a turkey, uh, I'm sorry, a coyote, maybe a wolf. We'll try and find out. So we'll see what that is. Here are the things you'll need to do this kind of project. Um, we have something called perfect plaster which is similar to plaster of Paris. Uh, we've got water. Uh, make sure you're using things that you don't actually use to eat out of again. Um, I'm gonna try and press some plastic in. Uh, once in a while, if you don't use the plastic, you get the dirt in the mold. It makes it a little more rustic, which is fine. And then you'll need a non-food item um, to mix everything in. And then I'll tell you the directions when we get there. So we're gonna use our Sportsman 400 Polaris to get out to the site in the soybean field and we're going to use Holly and Dawson myself. Here's a coyote. Oh, well, there's a raccoon one. Can you find a good deer one? I'm gonna do this one. Can you find a good buck print? So this is a deer print, maybe a doe. So what you do is you pour it into your bucket. What you want to do is overfill it. So what you, over, you do is overfill it. And then you tap it in to get rid of all the air bubbles. And then we gotta go find more. So this is a buck print you'll see with the two hooves and then the back. You don't see that on every print. I think I can get that one. Is that not deep enough? Okay, so we brought the plaster Paris up and um, I washed them off and I got the plastic off and you can see the do's and don'ts of that. Um, I'll show you. So we went out in the middle of the night and got the plaster of Paris and as you can see the ones that we used the, did not use the plastic on, there's dirt on it which actually accentuates uh, the paw prints. Here's probably a large doe, here's a raccoon, here's a coyote print. Here's another uh, raccoon, and then here's our big buck. I mean, you can see the size of this thing. There's the back of it, the hoof print. Now, the ones I tried to use the plastic on, just kind of mushed it. It's just a big mushy ball. Did not work how I thought it would. It kept it very clean, but it didn't do what I wanted. You can kind of see the prints of the buck but